Welcome friends, it's nighttime here, and before I head off to bed, I need to share some info on what I've been watching unfold on YouTube. Without a Crystal Ball is a YouTube channel run by a woman named Katie Joy. She has done extensive videos about the Duggars and the IBLP over the past couple of years. As a part of all of that, she allegedly made contact with several sources close to the Duggars, including Amy Duggar King. Most of us know that Amy is the cousin of Josh Duggar, and she appeared extensively on 19 Kids and Counting. Her mom, Deanna Duggar, is the sister of Jim Bob, and Deanna also appeared on the show. Years later, Amy Duggar got married, had a child, and opened a clothing and accessory shop in Arkansas called 3031. This is the time frame in which Amy and Katie Joy allegedly started speaking with one another. And a few hours ago, Katie Joy levied some new accusations against Amy. For some background, I started watching Without a Crystal Ball during Josh Sugar's trial, and I thought she did a good job covering the case. I didn't know of anyone else who was covering Josh's case as extensively at that time. But shortly after Josh was convicted, some issues came out publicly between Amy Duggar King and Katie Joy. Katie Joy had interviewed Amy Duggar on her YouTube channel. Katie talked about Amy a lot in her videos. She even bought and wore clothing from 3031 and encouraged her viewers to check out Amy's store. So kind of like free publicity for Amy. Katie made statements that if she went to Arkansas to cover Josh's case, she could stay with Amy or Deanna Duggar. Deanna is Amy's um, mom. And it made me think that they were all kind of close and involved with one another. Security, because I would have Amy and Deanna with me. And nothing's going to happen to Amy and Deanna. They're already talking about how to keep me safe. Don't worry about it. There's a lot of people down there that want me to come down. I will say this. Um, I will say this. That I, yes, Jim Bob's sister wants me to come down for the trial. And Amy, his niece, wants me to go with her. But around October, November 2021, some uncomfortable stuff started happening. I don't know for sure how it all went down, but I'll give you my basic understanding of this ridiculous drama. Okay, so basically there was another popular YouTuber called Backwoods Barbie. Backwoods Barbie had had some words back and forth with Katie Joy from Without a Crystal Ball. Seemingly, there was maybe some bad blood between them. Somewhere in the background, Amy Duggar King made a comment on her social media about quote-unquote redneck Barbie. She also did some kind of a parody making fun of a southern accent. People perceived that Amy was making fun of Backwoods Barbie, and Katie Joy perpetuated this idea by commenting publicly on how funny Amy was and making a video about how Amy was making fun of Backwoods Barbie. Amy Duggar King. Oh, hold on a second. Hello? No, I'm actually live. Hi. <laughs> No, what's here? Hold on. I'll just, you guys, one second. One eternity later. Okay, sorry. Someone was, someone gave me a call to let me know all the details. So. So then here comes the backlash. The reality is that Amy Duggar's business and public image are mostly supported by lots of people who consider themselves Southern and or religious in some way or another. A lot of them have Southern accents. When those supporters found out that Amy was hanging out with Katie Joy, who states she's an atheist and has said a lot of crappy things about Backwoods Barbie, they were pissed off and they let Amy know it. 
For her part, Backwoods Barbie talked on her show about how she was proud of her accent. And you know, that's a big part of her YouTube channel. Her accent makes her stand out. She's funny and interesting to listen to. And her accent is a part of that. So, facing major backlash, Amy Duggar actually called Backwoods Barbie and apologized to her. Amy had to make a big statement about all of it on her social media, and as a result, she started distancing herself from Katie Joy. So, for a short bit, it was quiet, but in the background of YouTube, subscribers were sending Amy lots of messages. Specifically, they were pointing out that Katie Joy did a video in which Katie claimed she could stay with Amy Duggar in Arkansas, and that Amy would provide security for Katie Joy during Josh's trial. <laughs> this is all kind of a weird thought to me. How could Amy provide security for a YouTuber to cover Josh's trial? Is she really that well off? I'm not saying that Amy didn't offer it. I could see Amy acting like she could do all of that, but I could also see Katie Joy exaggerating the whole thing. And for me, at that point, I started to realize that Katie and Amy were kind of like two peas in a weird self-obsessed pod. Security, because I would have Amy and Deanna with me. And nothing's going to happen to Amy and Deanna. They're already talking about how to keep me safe. Don't worry about it. There's a lot of people down there that want me to come down. Amy suddenly put out these comments. I'm not providing security for anyone. I do not need any moral support. I never asked anyone to stay with me. And more than likely, I won't even be in town. She also said, my mother, my husband, and I will not be going to the trial, and nobody is staying at our house, just setting the record straight. So viewers could tell something was definitely going on between Amy Duggar and Katie Joy of Without a Crystal Ball. And Without a Crystal Ball quickly came out and made some statements about how she deleted videos that Amy didn't like. She said some things like, in good faith, I deleted those videos as I do not want to cause any further stress to her. I apologize to the YouTuber Backwoods Barbie for making those videos based upon my communications with e Amy. Neither Amy nor I want to be considered bullies, and I apologize for my role. So, you know, Katie was trying to come out and make some things right with Amy. I think she realized that uh, fighting with Backwoods Barbie was bringing a lot of harm to Amy's business, and one way she could try to fix it was to get behind Amy and say, like, I'm sorry that we said this or we did this. But Amy Duggar was not very responsive to these attempts from Katie Joy to make things right. And so Without a Crystal Ball went on to say on her YouTube channel, Amy is just trying to keep her and her husband's businesses afloat. She has been under the weather. And to be honest, I know running multiple businesses can be extremely stressful on top of all of this. Amy's business has taken a hit and locals are basically boycotting anything Duggar, they are done. Then, without a crystal ball, went on to make this comment. Well, she's been blaming me, she's talking about Amy, she's been blaming me for her words and then has lied to my face, so I'm kind of over it. I feel for her, but someone lies to me four times and I'm done. I just think it's kind of funny that four times is the magic number here. Okay, so Katie's subscriber, Witchy Girl, then responds to Katie. Amy lied to your face and blaming you for her own words? That's weird AF. And then the last response that Katie had about all of this that I'm aware of was, yes, I don't know what's going on with her. She's made statements that I have upset people. I've reported what was said as much as any other outlets. She is getting more backlash lately due to Josh's conviction. She's stressed, but when I get blamed for her words and the consequences of her words, I step away. Guys, it was all such crazy drama. I don't dislike Amy Duggar or Katie Joy. I don't know them well enough personally to really care about all of the drama that's swirling around them. But when you start putting all of your personal problems all over YouTube and they are constantly coming up in my feed, I can't help but to notice it. And so it goes that while scrolling through Reddit, I saw some breaking news about Without a Crystal Ball's new accusations towards Amy Duggar King.
Over here in Malaysia, it took me a little bit more time to get the news that Roe vs. Wade was overturned, and I spent some time reading about it yesterday before bed. It turns out that Amy Duggar King and Deanna Duggar both made comments on their social media expressing joy in the possibility of a ban on abortion in Arkansas, and here's what they had to say. Amy says, abortion is overturned. Thank you, Jesus. Also, I'm sure there will be guidelines in emergency death complications procedure situations, but think of how many babies our country has. You cannot tell me we haven't the child that would have cured cancer or that could have had a chance to change the world. And then Deanna just went on to post this, Roe v. Wade no more, praise God. So shortly after that, Katie Joy made these posts. Okay, so this is what she posted to Deanna Duggar. The aunt of four girls that were essayed by their brother praises God for Roe v. Wade being overturned. Arkansas Attorney General immediately signed into full action a ban on in the state. The only exception is if the mother's life is at risk. Deanna Duggar, what would have happened if Josh impregnated your... Is it really fair for victims to have a child created out of SM? You don't stand for victims if you support this and are praising God. And here's Without a Crystal Ball's response to Amy, which is quite lengthy. Amy Duggar King, your state will now force women or girls that are R'd or victims of SM to carry the baby to term. Also, the R's get paternity rights for the child they create out of R in your state. But yay, we save the babies. When welfare explodes, your schools overcrowd and Medicaid bursts, I'm sure you will be the first in line to help the babies. Are you going to adopt the babies too, or are you just going to post another fake message to Anna about her needing to divorce Josh while pretending to care about the kids? And here we go with the last part of all this. Without a crystal ball, says to Amy, you don't care. Anna doesn't speak to you. Most of the family doesn't talk to you because they can't trust that you won't run to the tabloids, allegedly. Not to mention, those cousins you adore that were assaulted by Josh, if they had gotten pregnant, they'd have his kid now. Shame on you. Shame on you for pretending to care about victims. Maybe you should tell your customers the real reason 3130 is closed. Tell them about the lawsuit, your back taxes, and the delinquent property taxes. You don't care about babies or anyone other than your self-interest, in my opinion. Okay, so guys, this was a difficult topic to bring to my YouTube channel. First, I don't want to talk about Roe v. Wade with this because my feelings are that everyone has a right to their own opinion on the subject and we're not going to solve all the disagreements about it here on this YouTube channel <laughs> for sure. But also, watching Katie Joy insert herself into many of the stories she covers and then later on lash out at her sources when they are no longer friendly with her has made me feel very uncomfortable over the past few months, many times over. I saw this as well recently with Lindsay Crisley, who had an extremely similar relationship with Katie Joy's channel. Both Amy and Lindsay basically used without a crystal ball to get some of their thoughts and feelings out without having to take the backlash from speaking about it directly. I think they enjoyed having Katie Joy speak for them. In return, Katie Joy realized that it was good for her channel to get all of this information from inside sources. In my opinion, she may have exaggerated some of what they said to her. I think for sure she exaggerated her relationships with Amy and Lindsay somewhat. I'm not here to speak badly about Without a Crystal Ball. I've said many times before that I've watched her channel and she is a mom who's made a small empire on YouTube to financially care for her family. I would not want that taken away from her because I'm sure she worked really hard for it. But she also inserts herself in weird ways into the stories she covers. And recently, I actually watched her give out personal information about other creators, like their names and information about their criminal records. She said those creators talked badly about her and this was retribution.
and maybe they did, but it definitely seems like a never-ending stream of drama is following only one creator, and that's without a crystal ball. It also really bothers me how people will constantly write in my comments, if you talk about without a crystal ball, I will unsub from you. Honestly, go ahead and do that. <laughs> I haven't said anything terrible about her, and we don't have to be that sensitive about it. Um, if, you're, if you feel really sensitive about it, maybe this isn't the channel for you. It's okay to watch without a crystal ball and still watch other channels who talk about her too, especially because how can you avoid talking about her at this point? She has undoubtedly secured her own spot in so many of the stories that we talk about on YouTube. Guys, she's made herself the star. But mainly, I really wanted to address some of the accusations she made about Amy Duggar. Okay, so yes, it's not surprising to me that Amy Duggar might have some of her own financial problems. She appeared on TLC for a while and eventually got her own show following her music career that never took off. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like I've noticed a lot of kids who get their early start on TV reality often overspend their earnings thinking the money will always be there, and then when it dries up, they're really at a loss of what to do. In 2021, Us reported that Amy and her husband bought a new, beautiful home in Arkansas worth over $500,000 after selling their old one for around $350,000. Once Josh's ongoing scandal surfaced, COVID happened, and the drama with Backwoods Barbie surfaced, I'm sure that Amy's clothing line was probably hit hard. It would not surprise me if what Katie Joy had to say in her post was true. Amy is running out of money, allegedly. On the back end of this, I've heard a big rumor. And this rumor could be a load of CRAP, but here it is. The rumor states that Amy and another Duggar sibling, I've kind of guessed it could be Jill, are in talks to do a new reality series. It always comes back to that, right? It's like once you grow up on TV, it's so hard to ever fully move away from it. Okay, guys, so what are your thoughts about what Without a Crystal Ball had to say about Amy? Um, what do you think about Amy's role in the whole Duggar shenanigans, the scandals, all of that? It seems like she's kind of been living her own life and keeping out of it for quite a while in certain ways. Um, I do know that at the end of Josh's sentencing, she spoke out and kind of said, you know, this is a really sad situation. I am disgusted by Josh. Um, and I'm just wondering, what do you guys think about her in general? I've heard both ends of the spectrum, people who love Amy and people who think that she's just in it for the fame. And I would love to know what you think because I have not come to any concrete conclusion about what's going on with her. All right, guys, I'm heading off to bed, but I hope you get a chance to take some time to head down your own rabbit hole.